Hello, all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today, oh, I, I look, this video is about giving my garage a zhuzh and it was supposed to also be my Christmas decorating video. We're going to do a two in one zhuzh my filming space and decorate the house and the filming space. Um, but things went sideways and that's just not how it turned out. But sometimes life gives you what you need, not what you want. So <laughs> this space, uh, I use it to film in and I've put a lot of work into it over the last few years. Um, but I feel like there's a really good chunk of that work that doesn't seem to actually result in results. Essentially, it almost feels like I'm just pushing stuff around and moving the mess from one spot to another. Anyway, I was, uh, I did a video cleaning this room up. Uh, a couple of months ago, I believe, because I let it turn into a pigsty. And um, there were some things in here that I then wanted to tackle. Uh, I'm starting with the light. This was a big thing that I wanted to tackle, uh, but I didn't really have anywhere to store it. So I went and got some storage tubs and uh, I'm taking down the light. Now, the goal with this room was to um, basically get more things off the floor. So in the last video, um, I got rid of my big softbox lights, which take up a lot of floor space. And also I got rid of some boxes and stuff that was just clutter essentially. And in this one, I wanted to get rid of that light. And I also wanted to get rid of my backdrop frame and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So in preparation for doing that something that is a little bit different, I am trying to tidy the space. I find it really difficult to work in a messy area um, because it's like, it rules my brain and, and I can't stand it. So I'm just packing away, you know, the lights, um, I've got a box of empties there that I take in, I go through. There's some other like makeup boxes that I'm just sort of, well, look, I'm moving them around a little bit, but we get there in the end. They all get sorted out. And I'm so pleased to say that they're, like it's all in its home at this point, which is fantastic. I'm putting some products away. I need to go through those drawers as well. That is, look, it's on the list. We'll get to it one day. Okay, so it's time to take down that backdrop. Um, something else is going in its place, which is cool. I was a bit, oh, it's a bit hesitant. I didn't know if it would work out, but look, you guys will see soon what's going on. And I'm quite happy with the, with the results. Um, I'm also getting stuff off the top of those benches because or the uh, storage units because they are going to have to be moved out of the way. Oh goodness gracious, here is the garage. Wow. Okay, it's bad. I mean, it's been bad for a long time and it just seemed I work on it and it gets better and then it gets worse. People use it as a dumping ground, sometimes myself included. And when something is looking like that, it's, I mean, it's difficult to deal with. Um, but I am moving a few things around that need to be sort of organized and they can be stored away a little bit better so it looks tiny, tiny, tiny bit less cluttered. I'm putting away more of my softbox lights that I just kind of tried to look when I took my original ones down I just sort of tried to hide them amongst the garage storage crap it was a terrible idea but also I had nowhere to store them at the time so I was kind of you know it was a rock and hard place what could I do but today I'm storing them away safely and they will be nicely organized if I never ever oh I just said if I never need them in the future which <laughs> is a good possibility uh, if I ever need them in the future I know where to find them and they're organized and it's great
Okay, here's where I start to procrastinate because I don't really know how to do the the next step of the main thing that I'm trying to do. Um, this technically was on my list of things that I wanted to do as well. So, you know, um, I'm choosing the easiest job at this point. I'm just changing out those light globes. Um, the light globes that I had in there, I didn't really like them. They were quite pinkish, not a fan. Um, I went and got a nice, uh, cool white LED globe and uh, I swapped them out. And now I am going to stress and fuss with how to hang curtain rails for, oh man, I did this for a long time. I was measuring and I was marking and I was trying to work out where is it gonna fit, where can I drill, what is the go, something, something brain brain and as I was doing this I just got more and more and more stressed um, and in the end I went and got mum to be like help I need to bounce ideas off you and we opted to pretty much just screw the um, the little brackets that the uh, curtain rods hang in straight to the ceiling and it worked really well because spoiler alert I'm hanging very light net curtains from the ceiling. Now once I called mum in I actually stopped filming because it was just uh, having the camera set up and moving around furniture and a dog you know running in and out and two people in the room it was just I was terrified I was going to knock over the camera again and I know that my camera it's never been the same since I knocked it over the last time I did a tidy in this room. So I just, uh, look, I thought it's not worth it. I will show you when it's safer. And this is where it was safer. So I, I was trying to come up with ideas to hide the bricks without having like a backdrop frame uh, and also allow me a little bit more freedom of like how I position the camera and I thought I could hang curtain rods from the ceiling and then just use curtains. Now I really wanted to use sheer net curtains because I, I look personally I think they're really pretty but I didn't know how they were going to look um, set up against the brick and I tried to google this and I can tell you right now in all of the hours that I was Googling, I could not find one image of someone doing this. So in my head, I was like, this is a fucking terrible idea. People don't do this because it looks shit. However, I feel like the, uh, I don't know, the curtain gods were with me on this day because it, it actually turns out okay. Um, I have been using it as a backdrop in my videos lately and I quite like it. It doesn't mess up with like it doesn't play around with the lighting or anything like that. Um, it's just like it's out of the way. I've got more floor space and it just works. So I'm really happy with it. Also mega mega shout out and thank you to Kat and Simon. Um, I was shortly before my birthday I was telling Kat that I was planning on doing this and I was like oh I'm like worried it's gonna look shit and I'm gonna waste money and blah blah blah. Anyway, uh, then I caught up with them for my birthday and Kat had actually got me a Ikea gift card. <laughs> so this is pretty much all thanks to Kat. <laughs> so um, I was really pleased when it, it worked out. Um, I've got mum here. She's helping me out. She's, you know, threading on those curtains and the dog is starting to get crazy. I also often get uh, comments on the, the bricks on the wall well yeah the bricks I think they're really ugly bricks um, usually I quite like a brick wall but not this type it's ugly I get suggestions to paint it very often um, and that is just not ever going to happen most likely I would have to have a professional come in and fix the mortar uh, because there is a little bit of crumbling mortar in the bricks I'm not the type of person to paint over something that is broken because I've seen people do that before and it is dumb. It is dumb and I'm not doing that to myself. That is no. However, ideally, I would actually love a German schmear on these bricks, but I'm not doing it myself and I just cannot get someone to do it at the moment. It's not happening. 
Okay, so day two, again, was about organizing and tidying the small stuff. Um, so basically, I'm just trying to find a home for everything and organize all of the bits and bobs. I'm quite happy with how it worked out. The only area in the room that's a mess at the moment, and you might have seen this on my Instagram stories recently, there's a section of my desk where I keep um, little like boxes or tubs of makeup that are gonna be used in a video and I keep them there for easy access and also to help remind me that those videos need to be filmed. Um, but again, that's just work that I'll go through it. And the last thing that I had to do was set up this backdrop for filming. Um, I did hang my fairy lights from the curtain rod, but they sit up too high to be able to see them. I've got some others that I'll eventually pull out. I might hang them instead. They sort of drape down. Um, the lights do look really pretty behind the curtains. They look nice and diffused, which I kind of love it. Um, the other day, mum was... In the garage and she said it's like a fairy wonderland in here with like the Christmas setup and the advent calendars and the lights and the curtains it's just it's so cute and I really like it I'm actually really pleased with how the curtains came together I think it gives the room a softness it does let a little bit of that warm red come through which I quite like okay things are about to go sideways with this video this is where I wanted to decorate the rest of the house and get festive with you guys, but I'm gonna hand it over to Stressed Haley. All right guys, today was meant to be um, Christmas decorating day, which was going to be tacked on to the end of this video. Um, and listen, Sometimes life just doesn't work out the way that you really want it to. It works out in the way that you need it to. Um, so I had, I kind of reached the pinnacle of my, oh my God, why do we have so much fucking shit in this house uh, feeling? And also, why is this house so messy all the time? So, so um, I have resigned myself to the fact that I'm not getting Christmas decorating done today, but we are getting other work done. So a clean to the kitchen, you yay me. Um, not very well, but <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, I've listed a whole bunch of stuff on Facebook Marketplace to try and get it out of our life. And then I said to mom, I do want to come in here and get the Christmas tree. So that's done. But then we also started to bring bags inside to go through them to declutter them. So this is what it's currently looking like. Um, you, I'm pretty sure you've probably got a view of it in the video earlier. Um, and we're going to try and work on some of it. Not all of it. We can't. We're like... Oh, we're, we're stressed at this point. We really are. And I, I mean, everything, we're just making more of a mess with stuff. But um, there's a really beautiful advent calendar on my wall and it makes me happy. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, look, we're making progress. It's baby steps. I'm supposed to be going camping in the morning. I'm I'm so stressed. I haven't got content ready. I'm losing the plot. But... Let's see how much neater and smaller we can get this today. Oh, and also I'm not actually gonna film the whole process. I will film updates if there's stuff to update because time, time is not on my side today. All right, guys, so we bought in, we bought in bags, bags and bags and bags. There was quite a few actually. And we went through them and we were savage as fuck, which usually we're not savage as fuck. Um, so we've got stuff for the brotherhood, We've got a few things to put on Marketplace. We've got some stuff for my sister, but it's all going. How good is that? That means all that space we made in the garage is not going to be filled up with more shit. Yeah, let's, let's go, go get some more. more. Rightio. We have decided to tackle this shit from Again. head on rather than coming up the rear, which I feel is like what it's doing to us. Um, I found my mattress, my camping mattress, and my tent, which I, I thought was at my friend's house. Could you imagine if I'd driven up there thinking that he still had them? Anyway, we're going to tackle this. And we do it twice a year. Yeah. And? It never gets better. 
next year we do it twice a year again because we clean crap out and shove it in here. Yeah, no, we're not we're not shoving. We're no, not shoving shit anymore. It's all gone. <gasps> Get rid of that right now. You're that's, first to yeah, go. That's good when people come and No, fuck them. No one's coming. Couch You're not allowed. Bed, couch bed. Don't you ever come to my house and expect couch to stay bed. here because the answer is no. No. Couch <laughs> couch Garage update. Look at this shit. It's getting smaller. This has always been stuff that we are actually like. It all has a purpose. It all gets used. This is the stuff that is a bit more questionable. Um, and this is what everything else is looking like. And I don't feel like we've made any progress, yeah. but we have. We've got we've got shit because going on. everything that come out, it's not going back. Yeah. Here is what it's looking like. So this is like, you know, the stuff that we use. We already discussed that. This was one of the things that sparked us coming in here. We were going to put it on Marketplace, but it's so beautiful. It just needs to be reupholstered and we don't have time to do it. And I said to mum, fuck it, put it in the garage um, and we can work on it in the new year. And then I come in and I was like, oh, I need the tree and then freaked out over the mess. This stuff is my dad's and I've got a tub down here, which I'll go through. That's fine. Um, this is like party supplies. This is fine. This is our, like, I don't know, tool shed. Down here, we have a whole bunch of tools that we do need to go through, and we're going to do that in the new year. This is the dog bed, which we're going to sort out soon. Um, I have a bunch of stuff here that's like filming lights that I took down. Again, I will tackle this in the new year because I can't handle it right now. But everything else is neat and tidy. Well, no, it's not. Come clean my fucking mess. Um, and look... There's space, guys. There's space. I can totally set up my ballet bar and do some dangerous ballet in this section. I could, I could. All right. I'm going to now handle this. A lot of this is going to my sister. We have a car full of stuff for the Brotherhood bin. And I have a lounge room full of stuff that needs to go on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know where I'm going to find the time. I don't know. Um... Just know that while I'm filming this, I am currently going insane. And me. And her. We're done. I might try and update you guys oh. again later. No. No. Put it back. Put it the fuck back right now. She's pulled something out. Get. Put it back. I've got to do that properly. You don't need to fucking do it now. I don't have time for this shit, guys. And here is how the garage is looking now. So I really like the backdrop. The backdrop's super cute with the advent calendar, guys. I'm I'm happy with it. Um, I'm a little bit messy. I do have I've been putting these here after opening my advent calendars, which I'm doing with you guys over on Instagram. I have nowhere to put these. Let's put them in a tub and let's take them inside. Cause that's a good plan. Let's keep things neat, neat and tidy. Um, so this section over here is looking a lot better. Um, I do still have this stuff to deal with. Um, it's, you know, some organization stuff, but there's a possibility that I will want to use that in this room um, over the next... Look, coming up. I've got some more declutters coming. Um, the curtains, I really enjoy them. So we did actually put some over the door. I need to trim them first, but also they've been helping to keep the flies out, which is great. Um, I've been zhuzhing or playing with this part a lot more, and I have decided I do want some extra curtains in there. Um, but I was also always needing to get more curtains uh, for this side. And I am going to do this side, and Mum and I were talking about it, and she thinks it would be a fantastic idea if I also get one to put along here to really section off this space as my own and then I don't have to look at this but guys this <laughs> this is great this is really great like I mentioned earlier I still do have work to do with this stuff and that needs cleaning and this we're going to tackle which I think look we might even try try and do it during the week this is dad's stuff I don't know if I really want to declutter this stuff before Christmas it's like it's hard you know Look, I'm sure you guys get it. I don't need to um, explain 
that to you. Uh, the desk, look, the desk is messy. I am going to come out tomorrow and I'm going to film a video with this tub here. Um, these are things that I actually want to work on panning next year. I want to put them in a drawer. So everything has like, it's all there for a reason. Um, I just need it to sort of be in one spot so that I know to deal with it and I can go through it methodically. But um, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I, I am happy and thank you again Kat and Simon for the beautiful beautiful backdrop. I do love a net curtain. It's dated as hell but I love it. I love it. I think it's a vibe. It's very boudoir-ish and I'm not mad about it. Especially with those lights there. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey of the garage. I know so many of you have been following it closely ever since the day that I actually decided to set this up as a filming space. Uh, let me know if you guys have been doing any decluttering lately or decorating. I still need to decorate my house, but we'll get there. Am I right? Just baby steps. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.